Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you know now for sure don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish first of all let us introduce to you the best of mankind at least this guy he make us laugh at least this guy he did not molest children. At least this guy, he don't threat people, cut their necks, cut their hands, their feet. At least this guy, this guy, I mean, we cannot compare. Can we compare Mr. Bean to Prophet of Allah? I'm serious. Because the Muslim, they say that Muhammad is the best of mankind. So if we compare between Muhammad and Mr. Bean, we will find that Mr. Bean is one billion time better than Muhammad. He brings happiness to your heart, your love. He, know, he don't teach hate. Those who watch Mr. Bean, they don't go in the street and say death to etc., death to etc. They don't want to kill people. They watch him, yes. They listen to him, yes. Actually, they don't even talk. So when the Muslims they say Muhammad is the best of mankind, what do you mean exactly? In which way? How? I'm going to open my Skype so we can give opportunity to any Abdulism, follower of Abdulism religion, to call us and prove to us that yes, Muhammad is the best of mankind. Millions of articles written about the best of mankind. And you know what? I am an Arab. And we never saw someone ugly, disgusting, a criminal, the same as the one you call him the best of mankind. So how he become the best of mankind? If you don't mind to tell me. Uh, Do we have any Muslim? My Skype now is open. Just feel free, please. And you can call us and see if this is true or not. All right? Uh, you know, uh, somebody sent me this uh, text. Uh, uh, a woman, her name is Linda Sarsour. She posted Linda Sarsour, which uh, the last name Sarsour, by the way, means cockroach. Uh, she posted that Jesus was a Palestinian of Nazareth and described in the Quran as being brown, copper skinned with a woolly hair. Where is, where is that in the Quran? I mean, those Muslims, by the way, they, they say things. Let me, let me show you the, the text. I find the Muslims are very hilarious people who fabricate and they lie openly, widely. Now, who is the Muslim want to show me where in the Quran it says that Jesus was Palestinian and he is a brown copper skinned with woolly hair? Who want to show me that? Who is the cute Muslim want to show us that this woman is not lying? I mean, look how silly. Isn't it you Muslim you say that Jesus was sent to the Jews? So now he's a Palestinian. So, so Muhammad is a liar again. I mean, just to serve their propaganda and their fiction agenda. They are willing to say anything. You name it. Actually, what this woman she posted, let me show you on the screen so we can laugh just for a laugh. As long as we are talking about Mr. Bean. Hmm. 
I mean, do you believe it? How those people are crazy? Jesus was Palestinian of Nazareth and described in the Quran as being a brown copper skinned with woolly hair. Okay, who is where is that in the Quran? And who is the Muslim who said that Jesus was a Palestinian? I thought you Muslim you say Jesus was sent to the Jews now so suddenly Jesus was sent to the Palestinian <laughs> and as long brother Jesus was Palestinian that this is me in Palestine belong to the Christian thank you very much I mean do you see how stupid they are stupid is amazing You know, man. Another Abdulism. Another statement from another Abdulism. Let us see this Abdulism here. He said his name is Nuruddin. Nuruddin, the light of religion. Well, I can see the light of the religion coming from every hole. Without mentioning where. The light of religion. Hmm? He says, Muhammad is the best of a creation. Okay, how? How Muhammad is the best of creation even in the Quran he says the land which is called Palestine by the way the Quran never mentioned the word Palestine you believe it and not only that the Quran in chapter 5 verse 21 says that this is the land of the Jews Allah he assigned to Moses any Abdul so today our topic about Muhammad is the best of a creation in my opinion until now if we compare today this year the best of a creation is this guy sorry I mean I, I, you might be disappointed Abdul but you know what I think this is the best of a creation until now for this year 2019 prove me wrong who is a Muslim want to prove me wrong Mr. P Bean versus Muhammad. I never heard so people like committing suicide by me because of Mr. Bean. I never heard somebody watching Mr. Bean and going shooting people in the street saying, Allahu Akbar, Bean Akbar. Bean Akbar. So, what do you mean, Muhammad is uh, the best of mankind? Who want to show us how? I'm trying to understand how this is, is like, how this is happening. Have you ever heard of uh, like a, 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 a group of people having a flag? It says, no God but Allah and Mr. Bean is a prophet killing people. Actually, because of Mr. Bean, I like his car. I want to buy one. But I think they're expensive. Huh? The only time I saw Mr. Bean cutting the head of something, it was the 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 the, bar, the Barbie bear he have. He put it in the drawer and his head come out. How many heads Muhammad he cut off? How many hands? How many women he raped? Hey, Muhammad Qasim is a fool. Don't talk about fool. Yesterday, guys, yesterday we spoke about fool. And look, Muslim, they say, okay, Christian prince is a fool. Let us see who is the fool here. Who is the fool? The fool is the one who says such a statement. Read with me. Are you talking about fool? Hmm. Prophet of Allah, he was threatening the Muslims. If you raise your head before the Imam, aren't you afraid that Allah will turn your head to head of a donkey? And you are talking about Mr. Fool? Are you there, Mr. Qasim? Who is the fool? You believe this guy saying if you raise your head before the Imam finished the prayer, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. I agree. Obviously, already you are. Because if you believe in this garbage, obviously you are a donkey. Look, he said this is true. Guys, Qasim, he said, this is true. Look, look, look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, brother, this is true. This is what? This is a true. 
and look he taught he type it in Arabic he don't want to say it in English why you don't say it in English I mean why you are making me translate now why you don't say this is true in uh, in English say it say it let everybody see this is true this guy he believe really in what him Muhammad he said that if you raise your head before the Imam Allah will make your head the head of a donkey and he said in Arabic this is true would you like to explain to us how this is true how many of your family they turned their head into head of a donkey because they left their head be, be before the Imam he left his head as long as you say this is true can you show us a picture of a Muslim who left his head before the Imam finished the prayer and Allah make his head the head of a donkey? If we are Zach and Naik, he will say too, this is true. It's true, Allah, may no one leaves their head. What is that? And guys, this is English supposedly. Anybody, anybody understand what I'm saying? It's true, Allah. May one, no one leaves their head. What is that? What the, camera urine effect. You see, everything you take, it have a side effect. And the side effect of Islam is so clear. What does that mean? Explain to us, what does that mean? Huh? Well, where, is, where is his text? Huh? It's true. Allah, may no one leave their head I mean what the heck is that you know what your English is even more clear than the Quran but nobody understand what you what you just said well what does that mean what may Allah no one leave his head what what is that you want to cut their head of the Muslims too are you saying you want to cut the heads of those who leave their head up are you asking Allah to cut the head of anyone who leave his head but the hadith did not say he will cut their head he said he will make them head of donkeys Okay, hold on. Why you are saying me? Why you are saying me? I thought Muhammad is sure. So now you are saying that it is maybe. So Muhammad was lying because until now, not single maybe happened. Hmm? Maybe Allah may change the face. No, he said Muhammad. Isn't you who raise his head before the Imam afraid that Allah transform his head into a head of a donkey, a figure of a donkey, a face of a donkey? So aren't you afraid? So this is not a maybe. He's saying to them, don't do that because Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. Now, Muhammad, since the time of Muhammad until now, how many Muslims Allah, he made their head the head of a donkey? And please don't mention the case of Ahmadinejad. This is the only one you can use him. This is a warning. Okay, guys, this is a warning. Is that a false warning or a true warning? Qasim, is that a false warning or a true warning? Guys, this is a warning. Was this a warning a true warning? Or it was a false fabricated warning, making fun of children if you go out at night the beast will eat you you know when I was a kid they used to put us in the and if you do bad stuff like in the old days you know in the Middle East they, uh, they, we have a we have a rat room so the teacher she she could not take me no more she, she she took me and she put me in the rat rooms and then after like 20 minutes or 30 minutes she opened the door and I I captured the rat and I throw it at her you know she thought she want to scare me by the rat I was playing with it it was a little mice actually so I got the, uh, the mice, I found the mice, I captured it in the corner of the room. They have a lot of chairs, discs, etc. It's like in a storage room. And then I, uh, she opened the door, I throw the mice in her face, in, 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 in her chest, and she jumped like crazy. And then after that, each time I do something bad, I say, send me to the right room. She said, no. So your prophet is scaring you with the right room? Obviously, your prophet, he didn't respect you. He's making fun of you. This is not a speech of a someone he have any kind of education. This is stupid. If you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will. Why? What if the guy he need to sneeze? 
what if he want to see what happened why Allah will and why and if your head down and everybody is ass in your front of you how you can see if the Imam raised his head yet or not do you have a sensor obviously this guy is making fun of you do we have any Muhammadan here any one from the religion of Abdulism anyone or you know what about your prophet saying this we mentioned it just a few days ago Let us see. The inter the best of mankind. The best of what? The best of mankind. Right. This is the best of mankind. Dr. Muhammad. Let me introduce to you Dr. Muhammad. Dr. Muhammad, the brother, he have a degree from the University of Flies. And he is very, very knowledgeable, and he can explain to you how to find diseases. Like what? As an example, all of us, brother, we knew that a fly have a lot of diseases. However, good news, brother, finally, scientists discover a very, very authentic way to fight any problem if a fly fell into your soup. All what you need to do, brother, you dip it the bed and then drink it. Is the best of mankind in what? In stupidity, in madness, in what? Who is in who is in Abdulism when I practice this? Huh? Who is of you Muslims wanna do live video? Show me how you drink the soup, uh, dip it, dip it. And why? Because a brother, one wing have a disease and the other wing have medication. Yeah, right. I mean, look at the wings, brother. Everything is in the wings. No one, the wings in America for chicken is very expensive. So Muhammad is the best of mankind in what? In his stupidity, in fairy tales. Huh? Anyone? Anybody? Kasim want to call. He can call who's holding him. But what you need to, to ask mommy call. Nobody is holding him. Uh. Anyone? People they are sending like somebody asking me he will translate the book to Dutch guys those who they are working don't translate without asking me because here we go this guy is working and translating my book to Dutch already we have it in Dutch translated secondly if you are a person working in my trans the translation from my book into Indonesian language you cannot publish the book you have to send it to me first I have to register it and I am the only one have the right to publish it and yes, the book which we're going to be for Indonesian, I will publish it and it's going to be as a gift for me for free. But you have no right to publish it. Anyone, no one should publish without my permission. 
if you translate my book thank you for helping you send it to me we we'll register it I have to register it copyright because this is my book and then I am the one who will publish it otherwise you will face a legal problem uh, now Uh, somebody said he will send me a link about a baby born uh, with the Quran. This is all is a, is a lie, my friend. Those are the two, and they put them. This is stupid things. I mean, you know, Muslims they are so desperate to make you fool. And if you are a fool, already you are a fool anyway, to believe in such a garbage. Any Muslim would like to call me. Anyone? Anybody? You know, Islam as a cult, the same as many who claim to be Christian, but in fact they practice cult. You see, when 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 you believe in a in a belief, and then you think that you are a supreme, that's mean you are a cult. The second you start thinking that you are a supreme, and you are the only one, and then you practice judgment over people, and you act as God. That's mean you are following a cult. If you are a Christian who think because you go to a church, certain church, that the church is the only one is saved. That's mean you are a following or follower of a cult. Christ for everybody, my friend, and we are not the same as the Muslims. Stupidity is not allowed here. Christ is not a cult leader and he did not come to establish a supremacist belief and there's nothing is called Orthodox nothing called Catholic nothing called a Protestant all of this have nothing to do with Jesus the Christ the same as Islam have nothing to do with Jesus the Christ Christ he came and the church the church is us the people it's not a building it's not a name it's not a bishop it's not a priest those who follow cult leader they will end with them anyone who teach you that his belief is a supremacist he is fascist he is an antichrist any Muslim Anyone, what make Muhammad the best of mankind? That is what cult is about. They make their leader supreme, and then after they make their leader supreme, they make themselves supreme too.
they think that they are supreme this is this is what the, the Nazi and fascism believe in they are the best and they have the right to bring everybody with a chin around his neck for they are the best of mankind so if you are a Christian and you act like those who believe in such a cult you are no Christian If you are a Christian who think, okay, I'm Catholic, only Catholic is saved, that is very foolish of you. You do not know Christ yet. Same for the Protestants, same for the Orthodox. And sadly, there's many people, they have the same infection and same disease in their heart. Any Mohammedan? Anyone? If you go farther, you will see the Muslims, they start making things up and they obviously worship Muhammad. So, because if those things are made by Muhammad, obviously Muhammad, he claimed that he is God. Not only he claimed that he is supreme, he claimed that he is God himself. Look at this here. Question, what is the respect of ulama, which means the scholars of the religion and Sharia about this hadith? Lawlaka, uh, if not you I did not create any creation answer indeed the prophet of Allah is the reason for the creation of Adam peace upon him and the universe so what is the reason The whole universe is created by Allah for the sake of Muhammad. What does that mean? That means Muhammad is a supreme. He is the reason for everything to exist. Why you have electricity? Because of Muhammad. Why you have water? Because of Muhammad. Why we have fish? Because of Muhammad. Why you have air? Why why we have everything you have is because of Muhammad. Everything created just for him. The whole universe. Why all those billions of stars are exist? Because Allah created them for Muhammad. Supremacist cult who worship their leader. You see, the Christians. When they say we believe in Jesus as God, then that makes sense. Those people didn't believe in, in Jesus as just a leader. They believe he's God. But Muslims, they claim that Muhammad is just a man. And he is just a prophet, but he is the favorite prophet for Allah. So why Allah created everything for him? What does that mean? That's mean that Allah himself, he is existence is just for the sake of Muhammad. The reason for Allah to exist is just to serve Muhammad, as you see. Everything, if the prophet of Allah was not in existence, then the Arsh, Arsh is the throne of Allah, the Kursi, the chair of Allah, the Lawah, Allah have a tablet, a galaxy tablet. The qalam, the pen of Allah, the, the sky, the earth, the heaven, the hell, the trees, the stones, and all other creatures would not exist. So what is the purpose of Allah to be exist? To serve Muhammad. So we switch from Muhammad the prophet to Muhammad the God, and Allah is his genie. 
Allah is the genie. He's a genie in the ball. And all his job is to make Muhammad happy. Who want to prove me wrong? Do you know the genie of Aladdin? Aladdin, he wiped the genie with his hand, the, the, the ball, and the genie come out and say, Say, Master, what do you want? Aladdin say, Bring me this. As you see, this is the genie of Muhammad. Allah is a genie for Muhammad. Everything Allah he does or he do or he did in the past, in the future, is just for Muhammad. Are we lying? Here we go, the reference in front of you. And the Muslim scholar saying, indeed. Indeed what? Let me show you, let me show you who is the scholars of this website. So the Muslim, they will not say, uh, we are making things up, brother. Brother. Huh? This is sunnah.org. Let us see the pictures of the, of the scholars there. Look at the beautiful scholars. Brother, brother, indeed, brother, a brother, indeed, brother. Those are the ones talking, not us. It's not us who is saying, indeed, everything created in this universe is for Muhammad. It's not me saying that. This is you, Muslim. And look how long the beard, uh, brother. Huh? Not long as mine. The supremacist cult. The same as a Christian, false Christian priest who promised you salvation only if you join his church. As if he owned the keys and the door of heaven. For he is a cult leader, not a Christian. That is Muhammad. Muhammad, he used God as a genie in the ball to serve him. Uh, Takiya Watch, your biggest fan, became a Muslim. Hmm. Well, my friend, uh, it looks like you do not know what's happening here. We have thousands and thousands of Muslims left Islam here live. So you are happy for somebody he joined Islam. I feel sorry for him. I pray for him, actually. I pray for his good. Are you happy now? The story is, how many Muslims will leave Islam today? Just today. And just guess what? Count my words, those who join Islam today, they leave Islam tomorrow. Most of them, they are suffering from problems in their life. Yeah, he always called me and I blocked him and I told him not to call me anymore. Because he called, he says silly stuff. And actually he begged me even to make him an admin. Many times. Maybe looking for attention. Now, what about you? Are you staying as a Muslim? Hmm? I cannot find anyone who joined Islam and uh, he is not suffering from mental issue, actually. Honestly, who, who asked this guy, do he believe in this? He, the guy you are saying about, he said many times that Muhammad is a stupid. And you are the one who said that he called me many times. That means there's many recordings of him saying Muhammad is stupid. So how the one who say Muhammad is a stupid, he say Muhammad is a good man. Obviously, there's something fishy with his head. Yesterday he was a stupid, today he's not. Yeah, you must be to be mental. Right? And you are the one who said he called me many times. What he called me? Do you have recording of him calling me? Okay, he can take shahada, maybe it's fun of you, making fun of you. Many people are seeking attention, they are lonely. 
making fun of you after some time is going to be very embarrassing do you remember guys the guy who was a friend of Amir he converted to Islam for three four weeks and then he left Islam and it's very embarrassing Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar the friend of Amir he left Islam and then a few weeks after actually he joined Islam a few weeks after he left Islam stupid and I know he will leave Islam I told him you I told him this guy is an idiot he's just seeking attention he convert today he will leave Islam tomorrow and exactly as I said happened and this guy is the same just wait now who is a Muslim want to call us and tell us how kind what kind of a stupidity you believe in that the whole universe is you know is exist for the sake of Muhammad anyone Allah himself what the purpose of Allah to be exist as you see the purpose of Allah is just to make cookies for Muhammad The purpose of Allah to exist is to make cookies for Muhammad and the proof in the front of you Allah is a cook for Muhammad he cook universe even the chair of Allah 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 have no chair if not, if not Muhammad look why Allah have a chair because of Muhammad read it read it indeed the Prophet of Allah is the reason for the creation of Adam and the universe if the Prophet of Allah is not to existence the Arsh Allah throne will not be exist too Hey Raza, Raza is an ex-Muslim. Welcome, Raza. Allah will not have a, a, a chair unless Muhammad is exist. Allah will not have uh, the the galaxy, the tablet, the pen, the sky, the earth. Allah is homeless. If we take all of this, Allah is homeless. Where is Allah? If there is no chair, which means no place to sit in, because remember, Allah in the top of the chair. So if there's no chair, there's no pen, there's no there's no a book. That's mean Allah have no office, he have no chair, he have no table, he have no room, and he have no place to live, and he is homeless. Because of Muhammad, Allah is not homeless. And am I am I lying? It's in the front of you. Isn't it this is the madness itself? Any Muhammad want to say something? What is this? You have to be officially crazy to believe in such a garbage. You see, Christian believe Jesus is God, so it makes sense if they say everything is exists by Him. But He's their God. He's my God. But you must then you say Muhammad is just a prophet. And then we find that Allah himself is exists for one reason, Muhammad. If there's no Muhammad, there's no Allah too. Actually, the Muslims, they say that Allah, he created himself from the sweat of, anyone remember? Who remember? I just say. From which sweat Allah is created? Anyone remember? Who is here learning, taking notes? Sweat of horses. I mean, you must be mentally ill to believe that your God is created from the sweat of horses. What's wrong with this religion? How in the world you can believe that your God, Allah himself, is a horse? So if we take Allah, if we take some of the blood of Allah, if you have a blood, and take it to the laboratory, what we will find that his DNA is 99% horses and the rest are donkey. So to say to me, we have a religion, we laugh. I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? Their God created from the sweat of horses. Their prophet is the reason for the creation of Allah. 
Because Allah, as you see, have no duty except to serve Muhammad. Allah is the genie in the ball for Muhammad. And that makes sense. So Allah is a horse for Muhammad. So Muhammad can ride him. Muhammad, he got horny. Allah, he sent the verse, says any woman, she can take off the panty to Muhammad. Ah, now we understand why Allah is exist. Allah is an executive officer to make the dream of Muhammad come true. So Muhammad, he wished something, Allah, he make it happen. My friend, Fadi, no, Jesus is superior for his creation, everything. If I ask you, uh, Fadi, where is Jesus right now? You will say to me, he's alive. And you are asking me if Jesus is superior? Eh, guys, we will have, we have a very, very, very strong, strong, strong storm. Unbelievable. Do you know the rain we have right now is because of Muhammad? The thunder, brother, because of Muhammad. The flooding, brother, because of Muhammad. Even Michael Jackson is exist because of Muhammad. Any Muhammadan? Even in the Quran, Muhammad is not superior. He cannot have a miracle. He have nothing. He do not know the future. He said in the Quran, Allah said to him, if he knew the future, he will take the best advantage of it. While in the Quran, Jesus can heal the blind. He can tell you what you hide. He can raise people from death. He can make the blind see. He can heal the leper. He can, by touching people, they can heal any disease. And you are telling me that Jesus is not superior? Even in the yellow pages of Muhammad, Jesus is superior. But because Muslims, they understand very well that Muhammad, he used the name of Jesus to get a job. The same as any corrupt scammer. He want to get into something. So he is willing to compromise. I don't believe Muhammad he believed in Jesus for a second. But he needed a name like the name of Jesus so he can get in. As simple as that. Any Abdul? And then the followers of the supremacist cult of Islam, they make themselves supremacist. And Muhammad, he made a verse for them saying, because you believe in me, you are the best of mankind. And because you believe in me, you have the right to go and attack and enslave and rape people. Do you see it? Are you okay, Mr. Razwan? Or you are suffering from diarrhea? Razwan, brother, are you okay? Uh, Razwan, the proof in front of you, Razwan. Uh, Razwan, he keeps saying proof, proof, proof. Uh, that is a diarrhea, brother. Uh, why you don't call me Qasim? Look what Qasim, he sent me uh, 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 a text. Have only created jinn and man, they may serve me. Mm -hmm. That is another proof that Allah is a false God. The purpose of our creation is the worship of Allah, which is not fulfilled except through the existence of the worshiper. Worship, uh, this guy is copying an article. I mean, look at this stupid uh, argument. So if Allah created you to worship him, why you worship Muhammad? Why Allah himself says, if not you, Muhammad, I did not create the creator, the creation. I mean, do you see the stupidity? Is it Allah who said, if not you, Muhammad, I created no creation? So Allah created the creation to worship him, but yet the creation created for the sake of Muhammad. That's mean you are created to worship Muhammad. Because everything Allah he created is for the sake of Muhammad. Including a human. Hmm? Any Abdulism have something to say? Okay, we have Abdulism calling. Yes, Qasim. 
Ja, da kan I hear me. Ja, yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so I was saying, mm. so Allah created the mankind and uh, the jinn to mm. worship him. So the mm. purpose of the creation is to worship Allah, which is only fulfilled when there's, a, when there's worshippers existing. Mm. So if the Prophet came on earth, mm. um, then there wouldn't be like the, uh, worship, the worshippers that Allah wanted to be on earth. So the, the, the Prophet had to be on earth to uh, produce such. Uh, worshippers. Why? He is the only, he is the first man. Is your prophet is Adam? You yeah, just say it. Everybody heard you that the, the, if in order for to have worshippers, the prophet have to be in the earth. As if Muhammad, he is Adam. Is he the first man? Yeah, he's the, he's the first man. Yeah. Guys, did you hear it? I just told you. Actually, yes, Muhammad, he said that he was exist as a prophet while Allah making Adam. Is that correct? Um, so he yeah, Adam was some he um, he was the first man. This is not a question. This is not a question. When Allah created Adam, was Muhammad a prophet already? He's already decreed that he's going to be a prophet. No, this is not the question. Was Adam when he was created was Muhammad at that moment a prophet already? You said again, I didn't hear. When Allah was creating Adam, He did not even create him yet. He's creating him. He's making him in mud. Was Muhammad a prophet already? Yeah, he was already decreed. He's what? He was already decreed that he's a prophet. What, what does that mean? It was already written, written down. He's going to be a prophet. Well, this is not the. Well, this is not Hadith says. The Hadith says that he was a prophet before Adam became a man. How he yeah. is a prophet before Adam became a man? Like I just said, it's written in taqdeer. What taqdeer mean? Okay, so so Allah, when, he, when Allah He says, "I created everything for the sake of Muhammad," that means He created Adam Himself, right, for the sake of Muhammad, correct? Um, okay, there's there's two ways of looking at this. The, um, some scholars said this is a weak narration, so they, they don't take it. Whereas others they take it uh, and they, this is how they explain it the way I just explained you see you're avoiding answering the question My question is very simple was Adam created for the sake of Muhammad. Yes or no? Uh, everything was huh? Everything was so Adam who was created for the sake of Muhammad. Okay, so the existence of Allah is for what reason then? For the sake of Muhammad because what Allah do? It's just to create things no. for Muhammad. This is what you just said. Everybody heard you. Allah, He create things just for the sake of Muhammad. Correct? No, He, he created everything for worship, and then the Prophet. No, 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 no. Everybody said. Everybody, everybody heard you. I asked you why Allah created Adam. I said it clearly for you. Did He create him for the sake of Muhammad? You said yes, and you said everything. Guys, did He say that? Did he say everything? You agree. Not only you, you said yes, you said yes, everything was created for the sake of Muhammad. So everything was created for the sake of Muhammad. That means anything we have, the angels, why the angels exist? For the sake of Muhammad. And you are the one who did everything, right? Um, let me have a look at the narration again. Hmm. But aren't you the one who said a second ago, everything was created for the sake of Muhammad or me? Yeah, everything on earth. Uh, I'm not sure about the heaven. Huh? Well, so how come in the website there they are sure that even the chair of Allah is created for the sake of Muhammad? The pen of Allah, the tablet of Allah. Yeah, the narration might be weak or something. Or what week? He said suddenly a second ago you were sure and now you are saying weak. You are the one who quoted for me. You are aren't you the one who said to me everything created for him? I was asking yeah. you about Adam. You said to me, yes, Adam and everything, correct? Yeah, I'm looking okay. at different narrations. That's okay, right. hold on. So now, according to you, every living soul in this universe. Every living creature, every object, even sand, even dust, is in, even in his, even stars, are created just for Muhammad. Do you agree? 
Um, just for Allah's worship, and then Muhammad was uh, no, 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 no. You see, you are taking you are, you are sore on your tongue again now. You are the one who said to me, I said to you, Is Adam created for the sake of Muhammad? You said, and you added, you said, and everything. Did you say that? Yeah, I said okay. That. When you say everything, it's mean everything because everything, what everything Allah is created, correct? Yeah, I, I need to. I need to check on that. Ah, you need to check on that. Already, you answer me. It's too late. You said everything created is for the sake of Muhammad, my friend. You are an Abdulism cult follower who worship a man. His name is Muhammad, and you just admitted no. that Allah, He is Himself. His existence is just to serve Muhammad. Allah is a puppet for Muhammad, and He do nothing for living except making things happen for Muhammad. Muhammad, he needed to be a prophet. Allah created Adam for him. Muhammad, he need to come to the earth. Allah created the earth for him. Allah, Muhammad, he want to eat. Allah created the trees for him. Muhammad, he like to have sex. Allah, he made women for him. This is what you just said. No, it wasn't like that. You are the one who said that. Everybody heard you saying everything was created for Muhammad. I was saying the whole purpose is for worship and then the process. This is not that what you said. You said everything he created for Muhammad. Worship who? To worship Allah? Okay, to worship Allah. But what is the reason of existence of all mankind? It's for Muhammad. So at the end of the day, worship Allah is just, just like, you know, following an officer who worked for Allah. But the purpose is Muhammad. Because our reason to exist is Muhammad. And you are the one who said that even Adam himself. I mean, imagine our father himself is a creator just for the sake of Muhammad. <laughs> that is the most funny, stupid cult ever. Do you want to add anything? Yeah, and the other view is that these are weak generations, so they won't be accepted. What? That's the other view. What do you accept? Uh, what do you accept that? You accept that? Who care about this color now? Suddenly you don't. You go and buy this and that. You are the one who gave me the answer five minutes ago. I'm just telling you there's two views regarding. No, you did not give me two view. You said in everything. You said I asked you. Are you saying that Adam was created for the sake of Muhammad? You answered saying yes and everything. You did not give me the other view. You gave me your view. And everybody yeah, heard you. Yeah there's, yeah, there's two views regarding. I'll give you now. I don't care about the two views. You see, don't stop playing the game now. You gave me the you gave me the answer, and your answer is so clear. Everybody heard it. It's recorded. You said to me that Adam and everything they created for the sake of Muhammad. Yeah, I need to check that again. Oh, so now you are saying that you were wrong. Yeah, I might be. I just need to check. You it. might be wrong. Ah, okay. Why? Because a Christian prince he made it clear for you that this is stupid. And now you find that what you said to me is a stupid and you believe is a stupid so now you are going to leave islam but you will call yourself a muslim because islam is a stupid you don't agree with islam so i will say i'm going to review it again but i'm going to stay as a muslim because islam is a stupid but i don't dare to say so islam is the truth how islam is the truth if you are just saying to me that all of your muslims worship a man his name is muhammad and all the creation was created for the sake of muhammad how that can be the truth I told you the other view is that it's a weak narration, they won't be accepted. Okay, hold on. What is the purpose of Islam? Muhammad. To say Shahada, is that correct? When you say to me that Adam himself is created for the sake of Muhammad, that's mean all of us we are created for one reason. It's Muhammad. So what we do, what we live for, what we die for, what we promise for is Muhammad. So you Muslims, you make Muhammad as God and Allah is his servant. No, well, you are the one who said that to me, and everybody heard you. Yeah, I told you I just need to review that again. Um, what do yeah. you mean? You, you change your mind in less than three minutes, five minutes? Is that how easy Islamic cult to be defeated? So you join in as a Muslim, you leave as a as a Shia, or what? What are you now? Did, I mean, you, did you change your cult anyway? No, these narrations are weak anyway, so it's not. What week? Uh, what week? What guys? It's weak. You are the one who said to me. Uh, you are the one who confirmed to me the answer, and now you jumped into weak. But aren't you? And it's not weak. What? Who said it's weak? It's weak. It is not weak. 
Oh, show me on the screen. Who is the one who said it's weak? The scholars have said this. Give me the name of the donkey. Um, you can find the Islam Q and A. Huh? Now give me the name Islam. of the donkey who said that. Give me the name. Every, every one of those guys who speak there, they have a name, right? Give me the name of the donkey. Because if this is weak, and a second ago you agree that it is the correct way, because you are the one said to me, and everything, not only Adam, that's mean all of you are a bunch of idiots. Because how you agree with it five minutes ago, and now you're saying it's weak to me. But let me tell you what happened. It's very embarrassing. It's very stupid. So you decide now to jump to different mood. It's weak. Hmm? We, let us switch the game. Let us play the game of weak. Islam needs some vitamin, vitamin D and C and A. Islam is weak. And by the way, why Islam have a, 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 a when you say weak, what does that mean? Can you explain to the people who they are listening? What weak mean? Um, there's some weakness um, in the narrators. This, okay, so uh, so you are trying to say to us, Islam Islam is full of trash story, false fa fraud. Is that correct? No, we can differentiate between what's correct and what's wrong. No, you cannot. So you know no, you cannot. No. Because you just told me there's two opinion. Correct, guys? Did he say there's two opinion? The reason there's two opinion, that means you cannot differentiate. You, you could not make an agreement. No, we, cannot, we can make an agreement. But that no, you cannot. Because uh, simply, if it is a fraud, then it's easy to say it's a fraud. And all of you will agree it's a fraud. But as long not all of you agree it's a fraud, and there's many opinion, and many they believe is true. And as you see, here we go. This is your sheikh saying, indeed, brother, indeed. Who is the one saying indeed? That's your scholar. Indeed, the prophet of Allah is the reason of the creation of Adam. Indeed, if the prophet of Allah was not to existence, then the chair of Allah, the throne of Allah, the office of Allah, the, the, the pillow of Allah, the, the, the cushion of Allah, uh, the, uh, uh, the the cup of Allah, the glass of Allah, the the the, uh, uh, the the cigar of Allah, the earth, the sky, the heaven, the hell, the heaven, the trees, the stones, and all the creatures would not exist. Indeed. So look at this cult. This cult is so confused, and there is many opinion. And this is what the Muslim they say to you: there's many opinion in order to avoid to give the opinion. This is what Shabir Ali he do. You know, Shabir Ali, you ask him what's your name. He said, there's many opinion. Some in my family, they call me Shushu. Some of my family, they call me Beer. And my grandfather, he called me Ali. Okay, what is your question? What, what, what is the answer? Let me repeat again. My name is Shabir Ali, but my mom, she called me Shushu. My dad, he called me Beer. My grandfather, he called me Mimi. And I am, uh, I give you all the options. But what is the answer? So when they speak about opinion, it's just to make it like a soup. I answer nothing. It's the best way to escape from the embarrassment. Thank you, Qasim, for calling. Feel free to call again when you get uh, excited again, okay? <coughs> Have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this? You go to debate, uh, uh, you know, this is why this guy, Shabir Ali, he will never get close to me. Uh, well, you know, he knew exactly what would happen if he ever spoke to me. He can play with all people who he speak with, but he cannot play with me. He is sneaky. He answered the question with no answer. So what we learn now from this Abdul who follow the religion of Abdulism, which is about modalism, where they make God a man, his name is Muhammad, and the, 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 the God of them, he is, exists just to serve Muhammad. Any Abdul? Who in the world want to believe in such a cult? It's called Abdulism. If we go a little bit down, it says, The Prophet of Allah said, Allah said when Adam made, when Allah, he made Adam, or, uh, you know, he was making him. Oh, sorry, when Adam, he made a mistake. He asked, oh Allah, 
I ask for the sake of Muhammad forgive me Allah he look at Adam and like what like what 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 you just said how do you recognize Muhammad when I did not even create him yet I mean look at this man like Allah he listened to Adam and he could not believe what he heard Adam he asked Allah to forgive him saying please Allah forgive me for the sake of Muhammad Allah looked like what the heck how you know about Muhammad <laughs> you know what I know now why mr. Bean is qualified to be a prophet more than your prophet Muhammad fabricated stories saying that Allah and Muhammad have a Allah and Adam they have a conversation and what is the conversation talking about him Adam says to Allah forgive me for the sake of Muhammad <laughs> Allah what the heck how you know that Muhammad is exist if I did not create him yet <laughs> yeah. and then Adam he said to him oh Allah listen to me carefully when you created me and blew into my me the spirit I lifted my head up and I saw written on the arsh, which means the chair of Allah. What the heck? Trump is uh, did I say Trump? Trump is born and he is a prophet. <laughs> and a uh, Trump, I mean Adam, he is born and he speaks Arabic. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Hmm. Why people are laughing so fake? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, come on, that's a real comedy. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> How Adam he learned Shahada. He saw the written in Arabic in the chair of Allah. Adam is just made and now he speak Arabic even Adam is an Arab the first thing Adam he left his hand up he noticed something like boing what the heck is that on the chair of Allah ah this is Shahada I got an idea then after he read the Shahada, he got the idea. He said, Allah, forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. Allah, he said, and he said to him, to Allah, so I got to know that you would not only, you would only join your name with him who is the most beloved to you. Allah joining his name with Muhammad. Allah, and you Muslim, you call the Christians Mushrikeen. You Muslims, you call those who associate God with a man, Mushrikeen. Yet Allah, he joined his name with the man, his name is Muhammad. Who is the Mushrikeen then? What kind of cult this cult is? Paganism. What is that? I like this ideas Allah created the world for the sake of Muhammad point this is what happened if your wife who Allah will give you in the heaven fell down in the ground because Allah will give her an ass of one mile size hmm. who is a Muslim have anything to say how in the world you people can believe in this madness 
Allah revealed to Prophet Isa, even Isa here is involved. Oh Isa, Allah said to Isa, Isa was supposed to Jesus, have faith. Isa, listen, to Isa, have faith, okay? In Muhammad, mean even Isa been ordered to believe in Muhammad. And order your nation to do the same if Muhammad was not in existence I would not have created Adam nor I have made hell and heaven do you see it guys what is this Who is the mad person when I believe in such a cult? Yes, Wendy, I agree with you. I have a lot of a great sense of hammer. This is one of them. What is that? Hmm? Hmm. And look, Allah said, Jibreel came to the Prophet and said to him, Allah said, I have not created anyone who is more honored to me than you. Oh boy. And all of those is a story reported by Muhammad. Obviously, Muhammad is not a cult leader. You see, it's not anyone speaking about him. It is him praising himself. Allah said, the whole universe created for my sake. Allah said that the chair of Allah created because of me. Allah said that his accordion and his uh, 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 melody and his uh, uh, drum and his board and his pen and his uh, big screen TV and the angels and uh, the eight goat who carry Allah, everything created because of me. So why you lie to us and you say that Muhammad is just a prophet, we don't worship him. Your God, Allah himself, his existence for one reason, just for Muhammad. Do we have any Abdulism would like to tell us something? We have uh, someone, I think he left Islam, he's text me, he's saying, I want to look into Christianity. Shall I start reading the Bible? Yes, my friend. Start going raw and go and read the, the New Testament. The New Testament contains four major books. Read them. The Bible is book of books, it's not one book. So you can go and read, and then you can read all. Uh, uh, the letters in the book of Acts, etc. Read everything and learn about the Messiah, and you will see how he was different. It is between this madness, stupidity, and what the Christianity is about. You see, there is a verse in the Quran in chapter 36 where it says, Follow those who ask you for no wages. Follow those who ask you for no wages. This is mistaken from the Bible. And actually, I like that. Those who ask you for wages, obviously they are seeking <coughs> wages. This is why they are asking for wages. They are doing just a job, I mean, to make money. So when the Quran says in this chapter, follow those who ask not for wages, how we can follow Muhammad who asked 
every step in his life for wages all the Quran confirm that Muhammad have many privilege and all his privilege either about money or sex so how this is a book of God saying follow those who ask for no fees no wages and Muhammad he keep asking for wages any believing woman she want to give herself to the prophet sexual payment entertainment for free just a privilege for the prophet the fifth of every attack to the prophet the best of the booty for the prophet the prophet he can have as many wives he wish while Muslims they can have only maximum of four in the same time all this privilege and the Quran says follow those who ask for no fees and by the way do you know this verse is speaking about who anyone knows this verse is speaking about who who are they those speaking there supposedly who is the one saying the sentence do you anyone knows According to the Quran, who is the one who said that sentence? Who knows? Paul, thank you. This is Paul, the messenger of the Messiah, the Christ. Those are the three messengers of Jesus which sent to the city of Antioch, according to Muhammad. And this is why we see here something noble, something high, something high quality. Because we are talking about those who ask for no wages for what they do. And that's why I say this is taken from the Bible. And here you see the ignorant Muslims, they keep attacking Paul, left and right, when their books saying it clearly that Allah, he sent the three messengers, and those are the messengers of Isa to the city of Antioch, and the messenger's names, Paul, which in Arabic they call him Bulos, they don't know how to say it, and John, which is Johanna, and Simon, or Shema'un, Simon Peter. But you see every stupid idiot from those who call themselves Muslim scholars today in the stage, they are fake scholars, they attack Paul. For they are cult, for you know, fake, fake Muslim, false Muslims. How you teach in the stage Muslims something against even your religion? Why you Muslims did ask yourself why Muhammad never mentioned the name of Paul in a bad way? While your Quran and your hadith and your stories and your tafsir is speaking about Paul and John in a very good way. But in order to win an argument, we are willing to lie. But that is not winning. That is a loss. If you think you can win by deceiving, you are mistaken, my friend. You cannot win by lying. I just received a message from Brother David. Look like tomorrow I will be with the brother David and Sam Shamoon in their channel. And I think they do as usual at 8 p.m. All right. So tomorrow, guys, I will be with the brother David and the brother uh, Sam Shamoon. Any Mohammedan? Actually, I should uh, invite David like he is being nice and he invited me many times to his channel and until now I did not invite him. But you know, because the nature of what I do, uh, you know, what I do is different from others. You know, you know, like how, how I do my, my things.
uh, live stream about Iran not now we need to wait until something happened I think there is something something really is going to happen I think it's just a matter of weeks or days from now something will happen for Iran uh, no actually you know Islam already exposed my friend you see the issue is that we are the one who say the truth we don't have the wide let us say uh, media okay how many how many people watching my video 855 people now and for how long I can keep my video in YouTube two hours three hours otherwise YouTube is all over me and you know that I made thousands of videos but my channel is empty if a terrorist he make a video and he have head cutting the video stay there for 10 years nobody take it down our videos will be deleted in the speed of light Islam is destroyed my friend and the proof that those liberals are siding with the devil it hurt them to see us destroying Islam But who care? We are doing it, and your discrimination to us made us stronger. We will never give up, and we will never stop. And actually, if you see who is buying my books, Muslims. If I say 85 to 90 percent of those who buy my books are Muslims, I will not be exaggerating. There is a Muslim guy. He attacked me and he said, the "Christian Prince books don't read it. This guy is an enemy of Allah, etc. And if he is, yes, he is using Islamic reference. This is true. Everything in his books is it true from Islamic reference? But it's not what he claimed. What the heck? Do we have any person from the Abdulism cult would like to call us? <clears throat> hmm? Even Shabir Ali, you are right. Actually, this is why he, he decided not to debate me. You know, those ABN TV, I mean, those guys, what I can say, they are very naive. I told them don't tell him it is a Christian prince they did the same with Anjam Shawadri the guy he ran away they did the same with Shabir Ali they did the only one they did not tell him who is the one come to debate the guy his name is what the, the, the assistance of uh, uh, the one who made the miracle of 19 the one that got killed in Arizona I forgot his name uh, uh, a deep a deep this guy anyway this is the only one he have no idea is going to be Christian Prince and the other one they did not tell him to it was uh, the Imam uh, Hisham the one who was uh, given a job as an assistant to George Bush the stupid George Bush if you speak Arabic go and watch the debate with Hisham I made him shish kebab with no mercy Shabir will debate you. Well, why he want to debate you? Why he don't want to debate me? Yeah. Anyway, I'm not really. I don't care really if he if he uh, uh, if he debate or not. I mean, this guy is a liar, and he knew already. He is no match, and always they avoid. Do you remember the debate between Didat and Sharush? And his Sharush? Didat, he debated and his Sharush once. And then they scheduled the debate for the second time. Didat never show up. People are waiting. Imagine people are waiting. And his Sharush in the stage. Hundreds of people are in the in the in the room waiting for Didat. He did not show up. Why? Because Sharush he speaks Arabic and you Islam very well.
Beni Muhammed'den. Enis Şarush. Once, once they got in the news that Anish Sharush was arrested because he have a fight with with the with the neighbors. They are burning. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, they are throwing garbage under his window and he put fire in the dumpster, something like that. And the Muslim, they went so crazy. Allahu Akbar. Allah. He, he got arrested like for an hour. You know, the police they came. So people complained that he made fire, and the guy is complaining, "Why you are putting those things next to my window?" You know, so he put fire in it to burn it. So anyway, they arrested him for like one hour, but it's in the news because he's a famous person. So the Muslim they went so excited. Allahu Akbar, brother! Did you hear any Sharus, brother? What is arrested, brother? A brother. <laughs> like finally, we get our revenge. Hmm. <clears throat> a Muslim proper. Whatever you want to say, my friend, it's very clear that a person who tried to ignore someone who makes thousands of Muslims leave Islam, obviously he is not doing good work for Allah, regardless who I am. Correct, guys. Let us say, let us say, Christian Prince is not worth debate. Christian Prince, she not nothing. Like, uh, you know, okay. So why you don't want make it one time, one time deal, one time for good? Let him expose me, brother. Why you don't want to do that? As long as it's so easy. And the only thing you said is true. When you said, I am confused. I never saw a Muslim is not confused. I am confused that why Shabir Ali don't debate you? Is it that you are not worth it or he feels sorry for you? My friend, yesterday I made a picture for Shabir Ali. Let me show you the picture. Hold on. Here we go. This picture is special made for Shabir Ali. Oh, did I delete it? Uh, hold on. Maybe I delete it. Just to show you who feels sorry for who. Uh, 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 here we go who is the one who want to feel sorry for who look at this picture yeah, let's put it in the screen I feel sorry for those who believe that killing a lizard will make them go to heaven if you're sorry for me Feel sorry for the stupid cult you believe in. Who in the world want to believe in such a garbage that if you kill a lizard, you go to heaven? Is that really from God? I feel sorry for those who believe that if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make his head the head of a donkey. I feel sorry for those who believe that Allah, he made the Jews rats. And how Muhammad he discovered that because rats and Jews don't drink she camel milk. I feel sorry for those who believe that the sun set in the murky water. And who is the one who said that Allah? And who agree with him? Muhammad. So you are feeling sorry for me? Feel sorry for yourself, my friend. Who is the stupid he believe in such a garbage? And this is why your friend. Shabir Ali will never even get to close to me because in two seconds he will go. It doesn't take three, 30 seconds to show everybody that he is a liar, he is, he is a potato. Ask Shabir Ali, do you believe in that? He will start making all oh, like uh, there is many uh, opinion and uh, there is many hadith. We are not sure really if they are true. Those are sahih. All the hadith you see in the screen are sahih. So what do you think? Anyone?
So you want to feel sorry for me? Why? I am the one who believed that. I am the one who believed that Allah, there's a God, his name is Allah, and will make the penis endless. How you or Shabir Ali can answer this? You tell me. The Muslims, because they are rude, they debate only polite Christians. And let me make it more simple. Christians who they are kind. Because if you are a Christian and you are not kind, you will bring humiliation to Islam. Muslims like to humiliate, to mock. It's a mockery. They don't debate you. They try to make a mockery of your kindness. But because they knew, they cannot do that with me. Because I will switch their mockery into a disaster on their God. And this is the holy story. And here we go, I'm here. Who is a Muslim who dare to call me and say anything you want? And you will see the question you give me is going to cause you a disaster. Who want to do that? Right now, right here. You say whatever you want. You call me. I'm not going to say anything. Or what I will say to you will come. You are live on air. Who is a Muslim when I do that? Say anything you want. And I promise you, I will switch what you asked me for against Islam in a second. I agree with the uh, uh, guys. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you, just to show you the, 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 the how I feel sorry for the Abdulism religion. Look at this. And I agree with Shabir Ali. That hadith is hadith, not a revelation from Allah. So there is always room for error. Okay, my friend. So if hadith is hadith, not revelation from Allah. So can you show me where in the hadith, where in the Quran it says if you rape a woman, and what is the punishment for it? Where in the Quran it says you cannot do muta when the Quran chapter 4 verse 24 says you do muta? Where in the Quran it says how much you pay jizya? How much you pay zakat? Where in the Quran it says how you pray? I mean, you see how silly what you just said to me? Hadith is hadith. By the way, you forgot that Allah never gave Muhammad a book. He gave him hadith. Actually, Allah himself, he called the Quran hadith. And that is showing me how weak you Muslims are when you try to refute. Is it the Quran is a hadith? Muhammadan, this is why you Muslims are ignorant. Your mouth speed your brain. You don't think. Oh, the hadith. Okay, as long as Islam is based on the hadith and in the Quran. So you, how you say to us, Islam is a preserved when you just said the hadith is full of a fraud. That's mean your religion is based on frauds. And not only that, the Muslim don't agree about what is a fraud, what is not. So some they believe in the fraud, some they reject what is they call him a fraud. And let me tell you too, in the addition to that, you refuse anything make make Islam embarrassment to you, not because it's a fraud, but because it's an embarrassment. So those hadith was good for the last one thousand year, and now they are bad because it's embarrassing. This is the whole story. And what about the Quran, Muslim proper? Why you don't call me? And you challenge me to show you from the Quran what is very embarrassing and stupid. Do you want to do that? Don't play with the words. You know when I said hadith, it means hadith of the Prophet, not wahi. Do you see how stupid you are? You never heard of something called hadith Qudsi? There's a hadith Muhammad, he claimed that it is from Allah. Secondly, the Quran itself is a hadith. Woman asdaqu min Allahi haditha. Do you see it? Stupid. Allah, He sent the best of the book, hadith. Everything actually you have in the Quran is a hadith. Look what Allah He said. Allah He. Uh, 
he sent down the best of the hadith you see here they say the best of fairest statement this is hadith it says in Arabic hadith here we go al hadith kitaban do you see it it's a hadith all your Quran is a hadith now what about the Quran who says the women she have a sperm coming from her from the ribs and the man have a sperm coming from the backbone is that a weak hadith too what about this the flying carpet of Solomon is that hadith this is Quran Why are you gonna call me? It doesn't matter, my friend. You see, when you say to me Islam is a perfect preserved religion, and then we find that Islam is full of a fraud, then you just shot yourself in the foot. Okay, proper. Why you don't call me right now? And we will make a challenge. You choose a chapter, any chapter of your choice. We have 114 chapter. You choose a chapter you think it's the best of Allah teaching. And my duty to make everybody laugh at the chapter you choose. Guys, is that a fair challenge? You see, I'm not picking up a place. You have 114 chapters in the Quran. I accuse the Quran to be a book of comedy and Mr. Bean, he can do better. So are you willing to call me? And they choose a chapter which is better than Mr. Bean. Who want to do that? You choose it and leave the rest for me. Just tell me this chapter. Yeah, Abbas is just a kid. He's driving his car now. The deliver delivering pizza. Any Muslim want to do it? What is the chat? What is your favorite chapter? Okay, you don't want to call me Muslims. Tell me in text. Ah, uh, he's Abbas. Uh, he's driving now. I mean, Abbas is still. He's coming back. I mean, Abbas, you've been you've been you've been, you've been cooked and, and served one hundred times, man. I feel sorry for you. Okay, you know what? Let me search for Abbas. You see, this is what happened when you feel homeless. Like, I mean, imagine we, we, we have a dry weather to the point even Abbas is welcome. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see what is the name of Abbas. <coughs> what Abbas name was? Abbas. What was his name? I mean in Skype I'm not sure give me give me your name Abbas what was your name Abashag Abashaga okay Abashaga let us see Abashaga Abashaga what kind of name this name is uh, uh, there is a name. It's called Aga Abbas. Aga Abbas. Is that you? Okay. Use the name Aga Abbas and call me. I found the name. It's called Aga Abbas. I think this is him. <clears throat> call me, Abbas. Call me. No, why we need to put that clip? As long as Abbas is here, we will make a new clip today. Call me, Abbas. Here we go. You're unblocked. Yeah, now he will go drive. I bet you he's driving right now. Any Abdulism would like to call me? 
any one of the followers of Abdulism. Uh, there is no need for appointment uh, the, uh, depot. Let him call me. Just call me. Like now, you know. I will, uh, uh, anytime I'm live on air, he can call me. There's no need for appointment and this drama. Why appointment? I mean, the, the Muslim, they do not know how to find me. You will see a Muslim, he's challenging me to debate him, but he never called me. I mean, I'm here every day, almost. And sometimes the same day, I'm here like three times, four times. How many times yesterday I was live on air in 24 hours? At least three times. And guys, you made me uh, unblock Abbas, and Abbas is not calling. What happened to Abbas? He's driving still? What happened, Abbas? So who is the Muhammadan wanna call me and choose a chapter in the Quran of his choice? Oh, you know what? Don't choose chapter. Just tell me something to prove Islam good for us. What is what is making Islam good? Anything. Who wanna give us something good? Anyone? Hmm. Hey, Sahih, how are you? Any Abdul? I don't care behind the keyboard in the top of the keyboard who care the, the, the question is those who claim that they have knowledge on the cult of Islam where are they they make a video a Christian Prince refuting Christian why you don't call me or refute me live on air let everybody laugh at me hmm? you got a great opportunity it's recorded. You can take it and you can post it in your channel. It's a win-win. Why do you don't want to do that? Nobody? Isaiah is not a prophet in Islam. Yes, all the prophets in the Bible, they are not mentioned in the Quran. Because they are wrong names. Okay, what is the name of Isaiah in the Quran for uh, where we can find Isaiah in the Quran? Where? There, there was names we never heard of. Where we can find Elijah in the Quran? Where we can find Jesus in the Quran? Do you have Isa? Who, who's Isa? Those are prophets of their own. We don't have the same prophets. In the Quran, Isa is a son of Maryam and his grandfather is Umran. And Maryam is the sister of Aaron. So Maryam and Musa and Aaron, they have one father, his name is Umran, and their grandson is Isa, Jesus. We don't have that. According to the yellow pages of Muhammad, Isa is the nephew of Moses and his uncle Aaron. After Muhammad get busted, and he says, No, at that time they used to call them by their ancestor. Look how stupid. Aaron is not from the ancestor of Mary, they are from different tribe.
So all the messengers which is mentioned in the Quran, they have nothing to do with us. Period. It's a theft. The names, okay, who, the, the chapter, the chapter number three, it's called the chapter of Amran. Who is Amran? I challenge any Muslim to show me a guy, his name is Amran in the Bible and he was the father of Moses. The father of Abraham in the Quran, his name is Azar. Who is this guy who his father is Azar and his name is Abraham? Obviously, this is not our Abraham. And why his name is Ibrahim? Azar, his father is Mr. Azar? Who is Azar? So if we have the same Abraham, we should have the same father for Abraham. If we have the same Jesus, we should have the same Jesus, born of Mary, and she is engaged to Joseph. And his grandfather is not Omran. Who is Omran? So as you see, everything in the stupid cult is a stupid. How many of you heard Muslims making fun of the story of Israel struggling with God? How many of you heard the story Muslim making fun of you? Give me one if you heard that before. Any one of you heard Muslim saying how the Bible says that God he uh, was wrestling with God, with, the, with the man? Did you hear that before? Was they making fun of you? They do, right? Okay. But just to show you how stupid this cult is, by accepting and adding the word Israel in the Quran, you accepted the story in the Bible. So did that. In your Bible, in your Bible, Jacob was struggling with God. <laughs> how you can believe? Okay, what is the name of Jacob? Uh, did that Israel. But do you know what Israel means? Israel is exactly what the story is saying. <laughs> By adopting the name your donkey, you just accepted the story. And if you ask the Muslims, okay, who is this guy Israel and why he called Israel? They have no answer. So they say it's funny to say that Jacob was wrestling with God. Then they called Jacob Israel. You idiot. You just called him. You summarize the story by this name. <clears throat> Do you see why we laugh at this cult? We have only 585 like. Okay, guys, in order to get more like, after the five minutes, we will start talking about lips stick and short skirt. And makeup. Uh, we are going to bring uh, uh, Kard Kardashian. Now, if Kardashian take over this channel, how many Muslims will subscribe? They invited Kardashian to United Arab Emirates, and Muslim women start reserving their place six months in advance. And the ticket for one thousand dollar at least to sit in a chair to see Kardashian. You see what big ass does. You see what prostitute can do. They have the power, not us. Not Kurdishan, Kurdishan, Kurdishan. I mean, do I have to say the name correctly? I'm like Muhammad. Jesus is Isa, and the fa uh, Abraham, his father, is Azar. And now you expect me to say the correct name of her? I will not say it. Keep trying. Any Abdul?
conservative co co this this woman is a conservative this is very conservative absolutely yeah <clears throat> Actually, if uh, if she announced her profit, she would have a lot of followers from the Middle East. Trust me. Perverted mankind. Pronounce Kadishan. What Kadishan? Kadishan. Anyway, anyway. I'm. Who care about this? But you are just showing you. I mean, if you if there is there is an app. It's called. Uh, Life, life. I think you go there. You will see a guy sitting in the in the chair, and he's playing with his nose, and he have thousands of people watching. He's saying nothing, doing nothing, just playing with his nose. Another woman, she have just a cat in her lap. Another guy, he is cleaning things between his uh, toes and is cutting his nails, and he have thousands of people watching. I don't know why. I mean, people are weird. If Muhammad have followers, why they will not? With all the stupidity we see in the front of us. So you can claim yourself to be a prophet, and trust me, you will find followers. In this mad, stupid world, everything is possible. Any Muhammadan? What is the real name of Muhammad? As I know, his real name is Qatham. But we cannot know for sure. I believe Muhammad is not, as a name, is not exist. As a person, it's possible. Which means Muhammad, it's not really his name. There's no way it is his name. This is why the Quran sometimes call him Muhammad, sometimes call him Ahmad, sometimes call him Mustafa. Uh, even the Muslim, they say that Muhammad, he have 99 names same as Allah again they are making Muhammad equal to their God see it 99 names of Allah and Muhammad Allah have 99 names Muhammad have 99 names those are the names of Allah 99 and Muhammad he have 99 So where is the Muslims? Where is the Muhammadan? They should add another name. I mean, what about child molester? I don't see it. Your prophet, he have sex with the children. Shouldn't he get him a title? We can add many names. Killer, thief, rapist. Right? And yeah, where is this guy Abbas? He asked me to um, block him and then here we go. He did not call me. He was just making a smoke. He thought I will not unblock him. Actually, I feel sorry for this guy, honestly. I mean, a poor guy. Does the Quran say pray three times a day and the Hadith says five times? Yes, my friend, the Quran says pray only three times, only. And actually the Hadith, uh, the Hadith says Allah, he gave Muhammad 50 times. You know the story, Sahih. Allah gave Muhammad 50 times. But the Jewish Musa's, Moshe, he saw Muhammad in the way home when he was going down from heaven. 
Oh, Abbas is texting me. You believe it? It's a miracle. Let us call Abbas just for fun. We are bored. Answer Abbas, come on. And look, Abbas, he grow. He is growing a beard, Abbas. Look, his beard is getting bigger, but not his brain. The answer, Abbas. So I called you, not answer. Hey, Abbas, how are you? Yeah, hello. How is your bad. beard? Yes, how is your beard doing? How's what? How is your beard doing? Uh, I don't have a beard at the moment. Man, you lost your knowledge, my friend. Okay, what do you want to say to us, Abbas? And then you got the courage to unblock me. I thought you were afraid of me. For sure, I'm afraid of you. I mean, come on, are you kidding afraid? me? Everybody is afraid of you. Everybody is afraid. Okay, I want today. I want you to show people uh, uh, today. Today, I want you to show the people why we are afraid of you. Go ahead. Yeah. First of all, I just like to ask you: Did you have your blood pressure tablets? Because normally you just get angry with me, you know. So I just want you my blood not pressure. To just no, my friend, but I, can, I, don't, I don't want you to just, just I, pop live on. No, I don't, have, I, don't I don't have, I don't have time for stupidity, and always you are being stupid, and I will prove it today. What? Let, let us see if you are you smart are, today. Are, let us see if you are smart are today. Comedian. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yes, I'm a comedian. Yes, I'm a comedian. I'm a comedian. This is why I don't have to be a, to be a comedian. You cannot talk to someone is so slow and so dumb. Comedian is somebody who's so fast in the thinking. That's what comedian is about. And you admit it. So yes. now I'm asking That's you. I'm not a comedian. Okay. You are a comedian. Okay, okay. So you I am a comedian time. for sure. And my, and my best joke is Allah, as you see. Prove me wrong. No, no, your best joke is not that. Okay, prove me wrong. Prove me, me wrong. You. Okay, <laughs> let me ask you. In front of us, we have a verse that says, Oh, children of Israel. Who is Israel? Uh, Israel is Jacob, isn't it? Come on. Where you, so okay, where do you get this from? That. Okay, where do you get this from? That he's Jacob. Ah. Oh, so you don't know that? Huh? Oh man! No, I do not know. I will learn from you. You see, you are the smart one. Okay. Where do you get this from? Allah says, "Okay, calm down. Have your tablets. Uh, listen, mm. you know, Allah says in the Quran, we have sent revelations to children of Israel, mm. uh, to to the uh, to the Jesus, to Moses. You know what Allah says that? You know what that means? You know what that means? Do what is what my happy my question? You see why why I say you are slow? I'm asking you, who is Israel? Oh, I'm slow. I answered you already. No, you're not. You said Jacob. I said to you, oh, where Jacob. you get this from? Where, where you get this? Where you get this from? Where you get, from? Where you get this from? No, no, it's not question. This is a question. You said to me, it is Jacob. I'm saying to you, who taught you that it is Jacob? Where you can find that? Okay, Mr. Fast, listen to me again. You mm. say, who's Jacob? Mm. I answer you. Uh, who's Jay Israel? I said Jacob. That's the answer. For okay, the from where you get that? You are a Muslim, right? It's okay. What is what is your book? The Quran. Show me in the Quran where it says that Israel is Jacob. Can we find that? Uh, oh, you are you are too fast, man. Just slow down there for with slow people. Slow this is the down. point. I'm I am fast. You are slow. You admit again. So now, Mr. Slow, where we can and find that is, Israel? Where where we can find that Israel is Jacob? I'm listening. Now this law is going to bust you and leave you on the road, and I'm on my way. You know okay, that? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Go ahead. Where we can find that Israel is Jacob? Now listen and learn. Mm -hmm. Look, when Allah says in the Quran that we have sent uh, books before, revelations before, mm -hmm. meaning Allah is telling Muslims the knowledge is already out there. A lot of the knowledge out where? there. Where? Where? And, and hello, listen to me carefully, man. When Allah says Allah sent to Moses, to Jesus, the revelations mm -hmm. in those revelations. Mm -hmm. Allah told hmm. the Jacob hmm. was Israel hmm. and his where, children. Where, where he said that? Where he said that? Where? Uh, in Torah and uh, maybe okay. In so now yes. you are saying that the stupid book of Islam, all of it, forgot to introduce to us who is Jacob. How you go and say Jacob, and then you jump to say Israel without telling the Muslims who is this guy? I never said Quran is a stupid book. Don't be so. No, you are the one who said that you learned that Israel is Jacob from the Torah, correct? Can I say something? Yeah, it was okay. common knowledge. So, why Allah, He needed a book which you Muslim claim it's corrupt so He can teach you from a corrupt book according to you who is Israel? Don't you think that this is stupid? 
I'll answer you that. I'll answer you that. You, you, need to use your common, you need to use your common sense sometimes. You are very robotic. Mm. You don't use your common sense, you know. Uh. You just just see on the screen and you just believe that. You need to use a little bit of common sense. What's happening in the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? When the Quran revealed mm. and it says, tell O children of Israel and mention O children of Israel. Mm. Everybody in Arabia know who children of Israel was. For example, mm. if I say to you, like in this our country, mm. um, Brexit is happening. Do you know what Brexit is? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Brexit is happening. Mm. If, if, if somebody comes and says, mm. uh, those who vote for Brexit, they are this and that. Mm. That person doesn't need to explain what Brexit is because mm. everybody know what Brexit is. Mm. So that's why Allah in the okay, Quran I, I will go. I will go. I will go with your logic. I will go with your logic. In the time you, of in the time of Jacob, everybody <laughs> knows. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. In the time of Jacob, everybody knows Jacob. They witness him. Still, the Bible says who is Jacob and why he was given the name. So now, when you say to me that Jacob was Israel and Israel was Jacob. In a book which should be this is the guidance for Muslims. No other book should be the guidance. You are it's bringing, you are the one bringing contradiction, and you are, and you are saying to us that guidance to Islam is not in the book of Islam. It is in the book of the Jews. Otherwise, how we will know that this guy is Jacob? You say to me, in the time of the Prophet Muhammad, everyone knows that this is Jacob. That is a false lie. That's a false really? lie. Yes, that's a false lie. Okay, let me ask you. Aren't you the one who made fun of the Bible saying that Jacob he wrestled with God before? Exactly. That's okay, really thank you. Exactly. So how you make fun of this story yet you call him Israel because this is what the name means. <laughs> you call me to say, How can God wrestle with God wrestle with Jacob? This is stupid. And then you call him Israel. Israel is the story. Where the name coming from? What the yeah, name means? What is the name? What is the name Israel mean? Go ahead, tell me. Is this slow man is allowed to speak something? What is the name Israel mean? All the sentence, one thing you said right. What is the one name Israel mean? You know what you said, right? What you is the name right? Israel means? Said, when you talk about Bible, and I'm asking guidance. you, what is the name I, Israel so, means? What? Guidance. What? You there see? No you see? You're there trying to run away. You just got yourself no. busted, and your religion is a stupid. You make fun of the no. Bible story about a man struggling with God, yet you call this man Israel. That is what the name means. You're not making no sense whatsoever. So you Muslims are a bunch of idiots who copy names without knowing what they mean, and yet you make fun of the story, but you never ask yourself where is the name Israel from. Let me ask you now, okay? As long you said to us, as long you said to us, everybody heard you, that you made fun of the verse in the Bible saying that Jacob struggled with God or wrestled with God. So you idiot, you idiot! I ask you, where you learned that Jacob is Israel? You said to me from the Torah. So that's mean you adopt the story in the Torah, do you? Yes, that's right. So you yes. adopt the story in the Torah that Jacob was wrestling with God. Do you adopt that story? Yeah, I don't, look, don't get angry with me and take a deep breath. Do you right adopt the you, Do you adopt the story? Do you accept it or you make fun of it? I'm answering you. Do you want me to answer yes or no? That's it. Yes, answer me first. I'm Say yes or no, so we can continue. Yes or no. So yeah, that's the only answer one has to give. Yeah. No, you you can give me, but I want the the, the headline. Yes or no? Do you accept the story that Jacob he struggled with God? Do you accept? Do you accept the story? Either you say yes, and then or you say no. What do you say? Are you proposing me? I'm forcing you to answer. Muslim never answer. I'm forcing you. So what do you what do you say? What do you say? Do you accept what is written in the Bible that Jacob he struggle with God or you don't accept that the story or will never wrestle with any human beings God doesn't need to okay do so that. why you stupid. so you idiot you just said this is stupid so your Quran is stupid because when the Quran says Israel he just adopt uh -huh. the story because that's what uh -huh. Israel mean what does Israel mean show me show me show me show me you I no. thought you are the one who will show me now I show you what Israel mean let this slow man speak. What Israel mean? Okay. What Israel mean? Like, like, what Israel mean? Like, you see how stupid you Muslims like, are? You see how stupid? You make fun of the story and you just said and everybody heard you. 
that this is a stupid story, yet you call I him Israel. Okay, I called, you said to me, everybody heard you, everybody heard Abdul. You said to me, we go and learn about Jacob that he is Israel from the Torah, correct? You said that. Okay, which verse in the Torah saying that Jacob, his name became Israel and what the story was? So are you telling me there's no verse in the uh, in the Bible it says Jacob was Israel, yeah? Are you are you, you are you stupid or what? Are you stupid or what? I, know, I, know the words I am the one saying to you. I am saying to you. As long as long you are saying Abdul, as long you are saying that it's stupid to believe that Jacob he wrestled with God. You are the one who said the word stupid, right? Okay. And I asked you before where we can learn that Jacob is Israel. You said to me from the Torah. Okay. Where in the what? Torah? Where in the Torah? The name of Jacob changed into Israel. Where in the Torah? I'm huh? I am answering. You. Okay. I'm answering. You. Okay, go same ahead. Passage. Okay, go ahead. Same passage. Mm. Same story. Uh -huh. Same story. Same passages. Mm. In the end, he was given the name. It's okay. In the end of what? In the end of what? In the end of what? The same passage. The in the end of what? In the what passage? What passage? Tell me the passage. When, when God, when when God met Jacob. And they wrestle all all right so this name by ac by adopting the name by accepting the name you accept the story because he is giving this name which is mean what happened no that's not true we this is what it is story. okay re re read the story and tell me what israel in hebrew mean what israel what the word israel in hebrew mean don't tell me like mimi hijab uh, elijah mean god is with us tell me what mean what according to mimi hijab what the word israel mean what the word israel mean in hebrew please you know why Shabir, you what the word you? Israel mean? <laughs> Tell me, Abdul Potato. What, what is the name? You want what is the name? You see, you see why I block you? You're just a kid. You are not. You're not a man. I'm, I'm. I'm talking to you as an adult. Please, can you tell me what the name Israel mean? A man is telling a man. No, you what the word man, Israel mean? Man, what the word? I'm asking you for the last time. I'm not going to. I'm not going to lose my voice. Keep repeating the question, please. Can you tell me what the word Israel mean in Hebrew? Huh? What? I don't know what Israel mean. I never claim I know what is. Mean. Get lost! Don't, don't call me again. Don't call me Israel again. Mean. Just you are just a stupid creature, man. You know, and you are telling me why I block you. You are just a kid. You are literally just a kid, a stupid kid. I feel sorry for your wife. Actually, it's an insult to kids to call you a kid because at least a kid he is a kid for because of his age but you are growing a beard and you do pizza delivery which is very high-tech uh, uh, job and yet you do not know I, ne I never claimed that I know what is it suddenly you do not know you want to show everybody that I am stupid I know nothing and I'm afraid of you and you just said that the story in the Bible that God he wrestled with the man is a joke it's a stupid this is what Israel mean. <laughs> My friend, you are exactly what the Chinese speak of. He left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. And you are that donkey. When a donkey follow a donkey, and the donkey adopt names, you do not know what they mean. And then you make fun of the name. But the name mean that he was wrestling with God, that's mean you are a donkey. So you accept the name, but you do not know what the name mean. And we are Muslim with that. We do not need anything. We have the, the guidance of Allah from the Quran. Okay, one word in the Quran cause your trouble. Just one word. What about the rest? So if we ask any Muslim now, what Israel mean? What they will say? Uh, we will go and ask the Jews? Who is Jacob? We go and ask the Torah. So why the Quran is exist there? And how the Quran says, and how you Muslim claim that the Torah is a book of corruption, it's not exist no more. Yet you want to learn from the Jews about what Israel mean and what Jacob is. But because you are a counterfeit religion, Abdulism, it's a counterfeit of many cults, of many religions, many believe. Muhammad, he took some from the Jews. Okay, let us take Jacob, take Israel. Let us take uh, 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 Moses. Let us take Maryam from, you know, from the Christian. Let us take uh, Jesus, make him Isa. And let us take Abraham and we make his father Azar. What Azar mean? They don't know. What Abraham mean? 
Who is a Muslim when I tell me what Abraham mean? Okay, the guy, his name is Abraham. What Abraham mean? They don't know. What Isa mean? They do not know. What Aaron mean? They do not know. What Jibreel mean? They do not know. What Mikael mean? They do not know. What is the Holy Spirit mean? They do not know. Even when they asked Muhammad, they said to him, what is the Holy Spirit? Or what is the Spirit? Muhammad, he went to the, his bathroom and he stayed there for 10 months. And then he came back saying to them, Allah knows best. The Spirit is from the command of Allah. But this was not the question. They are asking you, what is the Spirit? Imagine you ask me, what is the Spirit? I say to you, the Spirit is from the command of my Lord. But I'm not asking you who is in command. I'm asking you what is the spirit? The answer have nothing to do with the question, you idiot. Do you see why we laugh at this cult? Christian Prince, why you are blacking me? You are afraid of me, right? I'm afraid I will have a heart attack because of your stupidity. You are slower than the slow. What is this? What kind of cult this cult is? So you make fun of the Jews believing that Jacob he wrestled with God and then you accept the story, you accept the name that his name is Israel? You must be a donkey. Yeah, you see how, okay, just, 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 just wait guys, just to show you the stupidity. A second ago he said to us, he learned about Jacob from the Torah and now he learned from the Torah. That's why Allah told us in 513 that they the Jews distort the revelation so how they distort the revelation and you trust them to learn that Israel is Jacob and how they distort the, the, the revelation and you accept the name which is given based on the story that Jacob he was still with God and you are the one who said is this is stupid because the stupid Muhammad is a stupid like you he stole the names, but you do not know what the names mean. By adopting those names, he destroyed his cult. Holy Spirit. Okay, who is Holy Spirit? Angels to breed. But according to Islam, angels are not holy. Isn't it Allah? He ordered them to bow down to Adam because they commit sin by accusing Adam of mischievement. You order the holy to bow down to the sinner? You order the Holy Spirit to bow down to Adam? So how you call it holy? And how you call it spirit? Yet it's bowing down to Adam. And how angels are a spirit? Since when? Isn't it the Quran says the angels and the spirit they will stand in front of Allah? So how they are one? Stupidity is amazing. يَوْمَ يَقُومُ الْمَلَائِكَةَ وَالْرُوحِ الْرُوحُ وَالْمَلَائِكَةَ So the spirit and the angels are not one and not the same. They are two totally different creatures or creation. Stupidity is amazing. Islam is nothing but like a piece of paper was in the hand of a child and he ripped it off thousands of pieces and then the Muslim they tried to put it together and it comes so stupid and so funny have you ever heard about a God he promised us that we will have women in heaven they have big boobs But yet he don't have time to tell us who is Israel. I mean, this is very important, by the way, to know the size of the boobs. Have you ever heard of a God? He is telling us that the book, the, the cup you will drink from is full. I'm so glad it's not half. Allah have time to tell us I will drink in a full cup. 
So now, brother, we will have a garden, brother, and the garden is full of big boobs, and you will have a full cup in front of you. But this God, he don't have time, brother, to tell us anything. Who is Jacob? How are you, Abdulism? You don't have time. Brother. Mute you too, mute you too. What do you think about Allah promising us big boobs in the heaven? Uh, one second, brother. Mm. Um, so you ask what Israel means, right? Yeah, what Israel mean? Do you know? Israel, um, so Jacob, his name was later changed into Israel. Why? So when it says Israel, Why? It, it refers Why? to the Jacob. Why? Why his name changed? Huh? Who changed his name? God changed his name to Israel. Where, where you learn this story? Say again? Where you learn this story? No, but this is according to the Bible. Okay, are you a person who be believe true. in the Bible or you believe in the yellow pages of Muhammad? The teachings of Muhammad Okay, so why you are reading the story from the Bible if you don't believe in the Bible? And why your prophet God, because it's you. why your prophet Allah and your God Muhammad did not say who is Jacob to you? Why the story is not found in the Quran? It, it does it, that's irrelevant. What 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 Why this story exists in the Torah but is not exist in the Quran? Well, because we don't believe in that story. Of uh, you just told me you learn about it from the Torah, so you believe in it. Otherwise, why you are reading the Torah? If no, you don't, be I asked you where we can find that Jacob is Israel. You said the Torah, so you don't believe in the story of the Torah. You don't believe in the Torah, but you learn from the Torah about what is in your book. Who is the stupid here? What I'm saying is that what I am Allah, saying that Allah will give you women who have big boobs, and this is what you care for. This is what I'm saying. All, all the idea, that? all the idea, you close your eyes from the stupidity of the Quran and you don't want to listen because Allah, as you see in the screen, He promised you women have big boobs, and by the way, they are empty. <laughs> no, I'm no, telling no, you, no, it's no, gas. No, open the screen, it's it is gas. They eat a cucumber and they fart a lot. This is fake, it's silicone. Do you think Allah He make a surgery for those women? He make them have big boobs? Or is that a normal thing? Allah He will make women big with big boobs in heaven. What does say that? It says in the Quran, chapter 78, verse number 33. And for a follow just women of equal age. Follow, follow what? What? This is not falafel, my friend. Say again no. the word. Say, what the word is? Falloptos. Falloptos. You sound like a Greek now. No, mashallah, alhamdulillah. You are getting improved, brother. Okay, so now <laughs> Allah is promising you big boobs in the heaven. Why is that? My Wi-Fi. Your five wife, you get your Wi-Fi from the big boobs? There we go. He hang up. Anytime it's embarrassing, they hang up. His his Wi-Fi now. He learned that the Wi-Fi will hang up before he hang up. I mean it's a miracle. It's the Wi-Fi, brother. Have you ever heard of somebody he knew that the Wi-Fi will drop him before it drop? He's a prophet. Allah told him, Jibreel told him. Hmm. Big boobs religion. Who is the first one he made a plastic surgery in history? Anyone knows? Who knows? The first one, the first doctor he made a plastic surgery. Who knows? Jibreel? No, Allah. Jibreel is just uh, hidden in the order. Allah is the super uh, visor. Have you ever heard of such a stupid religion? The Muslim, they say to us, if Allah wants something, he say B is going to be B. B, B. 
Allah want to get the breast of the Prophet bigger. So what he does? Or how he did it? If I show you, you will not believe how Allah do it. It's amazing. Actually, when I saw the surgery in camera for this time, uh, I felt I want to convert to Islam. Brother, Allah sent Brother Jibreel, alayhi salam, and Brother Jibreel, he cut the belly of the Prophet, and he started taking all the bad stuff from his belly. And you know the Prophet have a lot of bad stuff, brother. All the junk in his garage. And the brother, he started taking the bad stuff, and he started expanding his chest. And then the brother, he wash all the material in his chest, brother. With the water of Zamzam. I think most, most of you, so brother David drinking some some water. <laughs> this, this guy is funny too. <laughs> you have a gallon of water, it's called Zam Zam. <laughs> uh, I, I, I did not I did not uh, I don't have such a gallon to uh, to to drink from it. This is God. So you are saying that a man struggle with God is a stupid, and this is a true story. He take the kidney off, throw it in the water. He take the stomach off, he take it and put it in the water. He take his balls off, he throw it in the water. I mean, he took everything off. And then after he wash it all, he put it back, brother. I hope he did not forget anything. And after he finished the surgery, anyone knows what he did? Who remember? Let us see how many of you have a good memory. What is next in the surgery? He brought the brother a dish of faith and wisdom and he installed it in his chest and his stomach have you ever heard of a religion believe that dishes or faith and wisdom they come in dishes well yes welcome to Islam even faith come in dishes any Abdul hmm Look, there's a guy there. He is saying his time is a stupidity cult. Come on, show respect, guys. This is how many women they spend a lot of money to make a plastic surgery. I mean, this is true. Allah is the first one who used silicon, and he injected the chest of the prophet with a lot of silicon, so he increased the size of his breast. Allah, why he did the surgery? To remove his burden have you ever heard of his burden is a literally a material and this burden is breaking the back of Muhammad what he have a lot of fat inside but brother I need to fix my Wi-Fi brother Oh boy. Any Muhammadan? Who's next? See, always I make tea, I forget to drink my tea. I have the tea in front of me in the table, and now it's cold. And nobody to make me new tea. What I will do now? Let me call Jibreel. At least David, he have somebody to bring him Zamzam water. I don't have that luxury. Uh, anyway guys I think we have done for today don't forget please to download the video soon as we finish 
it take maybe 20 minutes some time for the YouTube to uh, to load the video to be uh, ready to download as you know we don't keep our videos and uh, tomorrow sound like tomorrow I will have a live broadcast with brother David Wood and Sam Shamon again and their channel around 8 p.m. now for sure I might do I might do I'm not sure uh, like uh, my daily broadcast was at 3 30 but usually in Sunday I don't do really you know so uh, most likely tomorrow we will see you at 8 but check the channel see if I have any podcast during the day so I want to say thank you for being here guys don't forget and by the way the video I made yesterday any video you missed you did not watch go to patreon my page in patreon you can check the last post and you click at the because I have I delete my video but still I replace it with the new link from YouTube many of you is downloading my videos loaded there so I update the link so always you can find uh, the, the the updated link for the last video we did or even previous videos and I want to say thank you for those who download the videos and those who add subtitle in different languages because we need to educate the world about how stupid this cult is many people my friend are deceived they have been lied to that this is an amazing religion it's full of science when there's nothing but garbage and stupidity and you have to be mentally ill to believe in such a such a cult so thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until I see you again, and until the Muslims find a better Wi-Fi, as you see, their Wi-Fi always is wrong. Never go right. Always their Wi-Fi is suffering from problems, which is very, very normal. Because Muslims always using the Wi-Fi of the neighbor, especially when they speak to me. So until we find Muslims who have a good Wi-Fi, like Shabir Ali, who is Wi-Fi is not working, and Mimi Hijab, who is high Wi-Fi is not working. Until then, I say, may the Lord bless you, and see you again soon. Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and don't forget to get my books if you like to read more and to learn about such a stupid cult. Thank you, and see you.